Hey everyone, Red here, and with the upcoming changes to Call of Brian and Overcharge, I know a lot of killer remains were running, what am I going to run now for slowdown? And, well, I'm here because for the next few weeks, I'm going to be basically not running Call of Brian or Overcharge really at all, so a lot of the upcoming builds are going to be focused around alternative slowdowns that you can utilize when this update goes through. If it is as hard as it is, at least then you'll be equipped with what you can bring into your games to help slow them down just a little bit. For today, we're playing Pyramid Head, and what we really utilize a lot of, and let me actually get this last piece in here since I just remembered, there we go. Obviously, we used a lot of Corrupt Intervention today. The three gens located farthest from our spawn are be blocked by an entity for two minutes or until we down our first survivor. But other than that, a big focus point, which I think is going to come really quickly back into the meta, once everything goes live, is of course Pop Goes the Weasel. Whenever you hook a survivor, the next gen you damage will instantly lose 20% of its current progress. This is exceptionally strong normally on chase killers more than hit and run killers, but you get good value out of it pretty much on anybody. Next, we're going to be looking more into, and I think this perk is going to go really high up to like the A tier, S tier, is going to be Scourge Hook, Gift of Pain. Whenever you hook a, well, whenever a survivor is unhooked from a Scourge Hook, they'll be inflicted with the Hemorrhage and Mangled Status effect, and the first time they are healed, they will suffer a 16% speed penalty to healing and repairing actions until they're injured again. This is going to be a very strong slowdown, and whenever you have a decent amount of, like, actual gen slowdown, not regression, it actually makes your base kit regression a little bit more impactful. Last but not least, we'll actually be playing with the new eruption. Whenever a survivor, well, whenever you kick a gen, the gens can be highlighted yellow, and whenever a survivor enters the dying state, every afflicted generator is going to explode, losing 10% worth of progress and to begin regressing. Any survivors that are repairing at the time will scream and reveal their aura for 12 seconds. Obviously, this is a nerfed version of old eruption, but it's still very solid, so really worth checking out. Overall, I have a few gameplays here with Pyramid Head with a lot of the mix and match here that you see. So we're going to jump into some of those gameplays, and I hope you all enjoy. If you have any questions about the upcoming meta shift or what you should be running, let me or the community know down below so we can all help each other out as this change happens. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. I'll have to look. It's a whole lot of builds, though. What's the layout here? One pallet. Two pallet. Not horrible. Roughly 30? <laughs> no, it'll be uh, from this year. Hi. But I am always down to uh, remake some builds. Thank you. This is a lot of progress. This will be good pop value. Hi. Thank you. Cool. Well, watch this. Pop. Omega pop value. You think she'll come and tap it because no one ever goes against pop anymore? I sure hope so. And she did. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Pop. Gotcha. Dirty. All right, cool. And we got an injured survivor going for the swap. Ah! 
Don't mind if I do. All right, let's go. We got to save over here. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Where's he going? I'm kind of ignoring pallets. The whole point with dissolution is you can just ignore pallets in general and let survivors kind of break them on their terms. Cool. I'll take my uh, hook perk here. No reason not to. Question is, do they go to that gen? No, that gen's been, like, look at that gen. It's been obliterated. My God. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. Oh, you can't tell. Oh. What if I just immediately tagged that too? Are you okay? <laughs> the world will never know. Hey, dude. What's going on, man? Do you have any build advice for a spirit player? Um, give, I would say wait a little bit until the new changes come live that we could give you a build. But probably something like Corrupt, Pop Goes Weasel, Barbecue and Chili Say the Best for Last would be pretty decent. There we go. Or if you don't like that, you can go Pop and Brine combo is also really nasty. Oops. Let's click. Well, don't mind if I do. Nice. Goodbye. Yeah, I knew I was gonna have a. Uh, I knew I was losing that gen if I chase this. Thought pop was bad. A lot of people have thought pop was bad for a long time, but it's fine. You just gotta target the right gens with it. That's what we use this game as our only form of regression. Did pretty well. It's better on chase killers. Keep that in mind. So spirit chase killer, she gets good value out of it. Pyramid head chase killer gets good value out of it. I won't lie. I just guessed. What's up exactly? Is it percentage on top? I don't follow that. How you uh, stated that. I thought they added. I don't know. They haven't added. I got called out for that one really early on. Oh, they got done, darn. How many? One, two, only two. Thank you. Ah, uh, toolboxes, though. That makes sense. Ah! 
got him. Scrubshy base kit, the way it is now. I agree. I've always agreed that Kindred and uh, Corrupt should be base kit. I've always thought that would actually be a healthy change. Twenty five percent for pop, it got nerfed to minus five percent. Well no, it went to twenty five percent of like overall gen. And then it got nerfed to uh twenty percent of current, which is a lot less. Killer just feels so impossible to play at high MMR. It's just gen rush after gen rush. It's not. Got him. That is not the feeling. You're making a lot of inefficient plays somewhere if you feel every game is gen rush. There is some, if you would, skill issues afoot. You bastards. The biggest downside here is I'm chasing two survivors all game, which means we'll probably end up making a pretty close, uh... Interesting. On the bright side, Pop Goes Weasel's still gonna feel pretty good here. Skill issue, I heard it. <laughs> One, two, three. No three gen except for these back ones. I gotta find some use out. Pop goes the weasel here. Kind of get myself knocked out of the park. I'm just not finding a lot of good value for it at the moment. I don't mind if I do. Got him, nice. I really thought he'd go to the right. Do I have a skirt hook? I do over here. Honestly, I don't think he gets that done in time because he has get to paint on him right now. So I don't think he gets it done. He might though. Hard to say. Yeah. Cool. Good value. Mikhail is not really the one I want. They gotta get rid of a survivor here soon. Cool. Hold on. Commit it. Nice. 
Don't mind if I do. Let's go, let's go ahead and hook her here. I can't see scratch marks. Hey, buddy. Got her. Goodbye. That way we can keep chasing. Where'd she go? There she is. Hey, gamer. Nice. That was a good dip. That dip in actually threw me off. She held it forward the rest of the game. And we have one survivor over here who is David. Nice. Well played. I made it too obvious. Did she Kobe? She might have Kobe'd. Gotcha. She kept holding forward, yep. Goodbye. Oh, or over here. This works too. Interesting. I'd go after David, but I didn't see him. <clears throat> Free drop gaming. Dun 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 dun. Well played. Oh my god. I stopped hearing her like moans of pain and she was just gone. Nice. You see the way she turned? That was to hide her uh Get out. Bomb, bomb. Nice. Oh, goodbye, buddy. Three survivors up top. Do I really want to go up there or want to chase this guy? Chasing this guy might be worth it and giving up the uh, gen upstairs might be more time efficient. It doesn't seem like it, but I can definitely see it. Yeah. Nice. Ah! It's dead hard. Hold on. This works. No! This pop goes weasel isn't as valuable either. Let's get a rub shot. Guys. Thank you. Even better. That was a toolbox too, so makes sense why the gem went by so quick. Or definitely not tonight. I've seen. Well, it's also Friday. Sent to Red Forest like 10 times? Jesus. That sucks.
Cool. He goes up. I don't know why I sent that. I'm definitely getting tired. Yeah. Oh well. Nice read. not super invested. They didn't get a hit there, so whatever. Let's see. Nice. Really? And here we go. Nice. Corruption value on that. I can go through here and kind of set up eruption as we look for our next chase. Thank you. That was silly. Alright. Let's see. Alright, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna wait, we're gonna get eruption on this. Cool. There we go. That way we can hit with the 10% later. I'll tag that up in a minute. First is this, if I quit getting stuck. Gotcha. Let's keep hooking for now. I want to keep that Pop Goes Weasel up and going. He's going for the save. Michaela already got it. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this again, eruption on it again, and then get our pop up one more time. Nah, man, I'll calculate it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's get eruption up here as well. It looks like they might be resetting. Yeah, they are. Resetting on this hook. That was too fast of a heal, unless there's will make it in play. Thank you. Damn it. Those are all obvious reads that I just fell for. Like, very obvious things to not fall for. Nice. And double eruption. That's dead. That's Omega dead. This is about to be da 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 dead. Cool. Light. Oh wow, you didn't even think about it. What is your... Hold on. Not enough range. You thought about this one? Dude. What is your plan? Cool. Goodbye.
Like, duh? I'm okay with that. Oh, I can't get stacked no more. Never mind. I'm not okay with that. How dare you? Apparently, at this restaurant, we serve ass. I gotta come here more often. I heard you. Go. Cool. Yeah, I'm kind of digging the whole pop eruption thing. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back. 